she has helped hundreds of couples conceive after struggles with IVF or miscarriages. Dr. Afriz Demary joining us this morning to talk about the latest infertility treatments. Dr. Demary, good morning and thank you for being here today. Good morning. Your uh, practice of medicine yes. could be a little different than yes. what most are accustomed to. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, so I'm a licensed naturopathic doctor, which means I look at the whole person. I'm interested to understand the root cause of symptoms and I specialize in endocrinology, so I'm treating many people on their hormones, mitochondrial health, and my passion is fertility, to have healthy children so that they can have healthy children. When you, when we, I just said that you've really helped so many couples conceive and what a struggle that is. If you're in it, you know how devastating it can be and how hard it can be uh, and you've been able to help them. Let's bring it back to you being the founder of Trimester Zero because that's where you say this journey begins. Yes, so it actually began not by choice. I didn't want to go into this field. I had had a miscarriage myself and was told that it was just normal, it happens, and I was sort of blamed. It was all the questions were at me. Then I had an unhealthy child, and when I lived in the hospital for the first year of her life, seven surgeries, that's when I realized we were just buying a house that we would never just buy a house without checking the foundation, doing an inspection. And I realized no one ever looks at that time before conception. Pregnancy starts and then everyone eats really well, they take their prenatals, they take care, but really that egg and that sperm matures and is being made before you conceive. So that's what I coined during one of her surgeries when she was in the hospital. I thought, you know what, we need a trimester zero. We need to be optimizing the sperm and the egg and the environment that that child's gonna grow in before conception. So usually we intervene too late. It's too late to start doing things as soon as you get pregnant. Would that lead to the statement maybe that fertility and the way that it's looked at nowadays is a little bit backwards? It is, it completely is. We right now start treatment when a couple can't get pregnant. We intervene too mm -hmm. late. And during that time, usually it's straight away IVF, IVF. And I'm not against IVF, we, it's amazing. But so much could be done to prevent all the harm, the money, the expenses that are going into such invasive treatments. The other thing is that 40 to 50% of infertility is male factor, but 90... Say that again. <laughs> 40 to 50% of infertility is male factor, really? yet 90% of the treatment is targeted towards women. So we have to start looking at our men. We have to not wait until three miscarriages, until one year of infertility to say, okay, you know, let's look at the sperm. Let's talk about this trimester zero. Let's say you're a family and you're watching right now and this is kind of the journey that you, uh, you're you on. What are some things that can be done in trimester zero to help grow this environment, like you're saying, and, and build a good foundation? It can be overwhelming because we, you know, when I had my daughter, WHO came up with a statistic that the umbilical cord of a baby has 287 industrial chemicals. I think 170 of those are carcinogens that can cause cancer. So it's very overwhelming and scary. And I always tell my couples, start with habits that you would want to do if you knew you were pregnant today. Mm. Start with eating organic whole foods. Be conscious of the plastics and maybe just have filtered clean water. Maybe just look at the air quality in your house basic things. Most of our pollutants and toxic actually coming through air. So starting with simple things like your diet, your sleep, you know, maybe that nightly wine can go and be replaced with a nutritious meal. Um, so I, I like to start there. Wow, like I'm just wrapping my mind around it. You know, as a mom of four kids and I think back to that time that you yes. know, I was pregnant, how much had an impact before I was even pregnant? You know what I tell my moms that if you conceive tonight, that male ejaculate, if I can say on air, was made three months ago. So what that father did three months ago, what he ate, how much did he drink, did he smoke, what toxins are around him, impacts that child. So we're all gonna probably go and check and see what our dads were doing three months before conception. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very interesting world uh, to learn about, and we appreciate you stopping by to uh, tell us. Dr. Afros Demary, thank you so much. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back.